hello hello today's the 30th of april and i'm almost at the end of my april art challenge which lots of you have looked at the video so i think it resonated maybe i of course decided i was going to use this a4 moleskine 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 so the premise was if you remember I was going to be working with value throughout the month so I had chosen this colour palette and I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with that if I was going to modify it I did quite I've actually shown this video I'll link it up and in the description that's my A5 finished sketchbook and I will show you because I did modify my palette so I've been carrying this around for the month and you can see I've got a selection of combos in there at the moment and a selection of different colours I am currently loving polychromos pencils do you know well, I do know what it's what about it is. <laughs> I can't even speak straight today. Oh my goodness. I'm loving these. You'll see why shortly. And I was going to also show you something else, but I don't have that sketchbook here. I left it in my office. So we started off the month. Actually, we ended the March month. I had done these a couple of these studies, which is why I said, oh, let's do this for the month. Here you can see, I think you've seen these ones already. These are David in the garden. We had a sunny day, unfinished and... This was his little still life. He, this is the one I wanted to do with him eating the pizza. And I wanted to do it with you. But he was really shy about having his face photo being publicly available. Even though it's like on my other Instagram. And I fully respect his decision. You know, it's, he's fine with this because it doesn't look like him. But he didn't really want his face up on my YouTube channel. And I totally respect that. So I've left that blank because I will go back to it at some point. And you can see, I should have turned these into black and white. If I remember, I'll do that and I'll add them. Um, but you can see that these have got quite a strong value situation going on. You've got the darks, which is this like navy blue. The pimento, I think, was a mid-tone. And then you've got the low tones, like the low value. And the same over here. Then I had... Okay, so what happened also was... So I decided I was going to do Port like David for this week, but then he wasn't around very much because his teaching schedule started. The next week I was travelling. So I was like, okay, well, let's do Seaside. Because, you know, I was actually travelling to the UK on this day. Or this day, I forget. But I was travelling to the UK. So I did Seaside. So we have a crab, boats... This is supposed to be a uh, black pool, I think. <laughs> it came out terrible. And then this is like a little seascape from um, a photo I took when I used to live on Anglesey in North Wales. I lived there for like 11 months. So, and that is supposed to be David, but it looks more like Princess Diana. So this was like one colour palette. You can see the colours are all quite similar. I had great fun doing this one. I enjoyed this. This started to go wrong early on and I just continued it because I didn't want another unfinished one. And this, the colours are not right, but I quite like the rocks then then i was like this is when i was at my dad's and i was like okay well let's do uh a fruit still life because he had some fresh fruit so i put them in the table in front of me his so i've taken to calling my pieces like my drawings i've been naming them and i name them in such a way that i can remember so like obviously a hermit crab does like a funny little sideways crab walk <laughs> um this one I called It Ate My Ice Cream because it reminded me of a time I was at Skegness with my gran and a gull came down and I think it was her ice cream or my ice cream. I don't remember completely, but a seagull came down and took the ice cream. <laughs> so I'm giving them names that... Oh, and this is David smoking a sneaky cigarillo on the... It's when he started getting into like cigars and cigarillos. So just giving them like little names to make me connect the drawing with the memory, so to speak. So this one is spots too much because my dad actually has a spotty tablecloth and we always joke when my mum was alive we used to joke about her counting how many spots and we've continued that with my dad and his I'm not counting those apples fruity fruit bowl this one I prefer out of all of these this is my favorite fruit for sale is like a fruit market that I found on pexels.com I think and I just drew like less um considered this I found really monotonous but I think it's because I wasn't into the subject matter. So it took a while to get to this stage. And I was like, okay, I'm done now. Incidentally, somebody commented on one of my videos and was like, lol, you have like, they didn't say ADHD, but like basically, oh, if you had like, you know, you should, oh, I can't, I'm paraphrasing, but essentially saying I should get it checked because if I actually just stopped and focused and fit it, then I'd finish a piece. And I'm like, well, actually I stopped because not because I have ADHD, but because actually I was bored of it and I didn't want to waste more time I'm finishing something. Same with this one. I don't like how it was starting to go. So I was like, I don't want to try wasting time fixing it when I could be doing something better with my time. Um, so that's just a little moan from me right there. This one was a disaster. So we got back to the UK on the 15th or the 14th, I forget. And I'd taken photos of different moments from the UK airport we traveled from and then the Dutch Schiphol in Amsterdam airport. And I thought, oh, I'll do like a spread of airplane -y stuff. 
but it was also the week when we had come back on the Sunday and the cat sitter had flooded our house and um, I just wasn't really feeling it as you can see I kind of like gave up I was like nope not doing it then this was our call on the Saturday if you haven't seen that there is it's up in like if you go to my channel and then if you look at a long not videos but if you keep going there's like a live section a live tab and that one is there it's an hour and a half but we have three different drawings uh, photos to work from 20 minutes and 20 minutes and 30 minutes i think it was so you can always go back and have a look at those and work alongside then i started doing a squirrel this was from the same book so i was like well I'll continue this spread from the same book so i did the squirrel this took me so long <laughs> so it's only gotten so far i will go back in at some point and finish but at the moment i'm happy with how it is this was a marsh tit bird and again this is another one that i started doing on the evening late at night i like it it could be more oomph but i was using a similar kind of color palette and yeah this one i didn't do yet i just left it there because i do want to do another one from that book and then this one i might do the yellow what are they called not wasps not bees but the other ones can't think what they're called from the same book i might do here but we'll see it needs to be in the same color palette and then this was going on an adventure type thing so i did this is of a friend her she took a photo of her dog out on a walk so i said okay we're going on a walk we come across a canal this is the canal near where i live we have a windmill because we're in the netherlands this was done during an emma carlisle call um i had submitted this photo um for us to draw from on saturday and then on sunday on saturday it was king's day and on sunday I did lots of drawing out and about on Saturday, but I don't have that sketchbook here. So on Sunday, I had taken this photo of David on the Saturday evening, like late afternoon, evening. So I drew it. I really like that. That's my favourite out of all of these. I did lots of orange because it was King's Day and King's Day, the Dutch have lots of orange around King's Day because it's like their colour. And I really like that one. I think it's one of my favourites. And then this one is today and yesterday. So Monday and Tuesday, I've been working on this. I've posted this on my community feed. I'm really enjoying it. I'm enjoying the slow process of it. I'm only using the four colours. These are polychromos. And what I'll do is I'll come back. I might do a little bit of that drawing tonight or tomorrow morning and film it and add that in. Otherwise, that's it. That's my April. So I managed one, two. This one is unfinished. Three. 23 out of 30 days in this sketchbook. But what am I missing then? That's interesting. Um, but I did also do this at the beginning. It's a bit tarnished now. This was a Sarah Dyer live call. It's a little animal scene, A to Z of animals. I really enjoyed doing that, but it's gonna make my hands dirty. And my other sketchbook is in the office and that's got loads. Oh, and I did quite a bit in here as well, but you've seen that in the other video. In terms of like looking at the value, this will have more stronger value once I finish it, I think. Um, I'm working with the orange and the dark indigo to try and build up the tonal value. And I think what you need to do is put black and white versions over this so you can see. Somebody once said, I forget who it was, but if you like close your eyes, like try and touch your eyelashes together, you can see the tonal aspect more. So David with this one, he keeps saying, like he actually really likes this one as well, but he's like, oh, I'm so pale and pasty. And I'm like, yeah, but I've got white space here, which is highlighting this, like the name of the place here we've got all the orange but i also really like the folds in this guy's sweater so i've left him white and i've left david's face white because then he's surrounded by the dark color and therefore we're drawn to and he is like one of the main characters in the setting so although he feels like he looks pale and pasty i'm like that's the point it means that we we see this white we come in we see you and then there's lots to direct the eye around in my opinion i asked him what his favorite one was he said i asked him this morning this one there's still life one i don't know why he says because it's a still life <laughs> i really do like this one as well you can see that there's tonal value with the the shading of the garment um the jacket and the shirt underneath he also really likes this one but i told him that one doesn't count like that's his favorite favorite and i'm like that one doesn't count my favorite i really i love this one of him because it's unfinished i really the reason it's unfinished is because where it's at now i really like and i don't want to mess uh risk messing it up mm. it's interesting because as the month went on I could see my style I don't want to say style but I could see that I was developing my technique and my interest and my color palette like it was developing throughout the month I really like the looseness of this one but at the same time I really like the the tighter composition of this one I think because this one is more visually interesting than these two and actually in a way I think I prefer this one because it is more visually interesting than this one which just looks like oh I had a spare 10 minutes and I scribbled it down I didn't it took me about an hour but it's interesting isn't 
don't know these are ghastly i would i quite like this this is more illustrative i think these were just like what were you thinking i love my little squirrel i'm still not sure about the fallow deer not sure i might revisit that maybe i'll do that one again here and try a different technique i like how i've captured the bird but again i don't like the style which is interesting because it's the same drawing style as here so maybe i don't know it's it i think the greatest thing about doing this challenge each month is understanding more about what i like and what i don't like like i absolutely love this i think this is one of my best drawings for ages but it's really just a sketch isn't it it's a quick sketch that i scribbled down i wish i had my um other sketchbook with me so i could show you what i did on king's day because one of my favorites is in there i've got a photo actually i'll put the photo up but i'm also really loving this i'm loving how i'm layering the color so anyway that is my april how my month of april went i'm not sure that i'll add anything else to it because I think that's quite okay and then you can see the unfinished pieces when I eventually share the sketchbook I'm going to aim to do something in this every day not necessarily do an entire square every day because so you can see that this is becoming a bit of one of those perfect sketchbooks which I really don't want to have a perfect sketchbook but I also do want a place where I've made a concerted effort to try rather than play in this sketchbook so it will probably take me until like September or October or November to finish this we will see because this one has taken me a couple of days already like yesterday and today and a bit of time later tonight probably um and i don't want to rush and then feel disappointed so i will come back with another video i'm going to do a double whammy of what my may is going to entail hope you enjoyed watching this if you did please give it a thumbs up it helps me know how many people make it to the end although not everyone gets to the end and thumbs up some people i've learned actually just give it a thumbs up when they open it because i took the time to make the video so thank you for that too if you've got any questions please do pop them in the comments below i love reading your comments and chatting with you sometimes it takes me a day or two depending on my schedule but i always reply to every single comment because i think that's important if you've taken the time to comment i should take the time to reply to you and i'll see you very shortly in the next video about what i'm getting on in may with it might come out friday because i think two on one day might be a bit too much for me to edit but we'll see lots of love to you all thanks so much for watching i will see you soon bye he 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 he. ho 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 you should watch another video Doopy 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 do